qualify, but it actually was 13-5 for the major decision. And ironically, Conrad shoes have looked like orange trim on the black shoes. Here we go. A lot of aggressive hand fighting right here. And, and Conrad has done a lot of heavy hand slapping in the previous match. And Mike Allen says, okay, guys, cool it. But Conrad, I thought, did that last time, maybe to try to distract Marco and just stir him up a little bit, maybe to get him to do something silly. But he was really aggressive in the All-Star match on some pretty, pretty hard hand, uh, hand slaps to the head. Marco forces into Conrad a little bit there. Conrad gives some ground, but comes back. He's, a, of course, a big, big man. He's got great height, leverage. They went sudden victory in the NCAA Finals last year. Marco hit a great foot sweep on the off foot to score there. This could come down to just one little mistake. Could come down to uh, a stalling call, perhaps, or maybe a good ride. Conrad rode Marco in the tiebreaker in Stillwater. That was part of the advantage he had there. Opening 50 seconds. I'll go with an underhook. Now, with the underhook, of course, is when he likes to foot sweep if he gets a chance. Conrad knows that. Usually does a nice job staying out of the foot sweep. Got caught in one in the duel in, in uh, Minneapolis last year in the duel match, and that was the decider in that one, three to one. Marco a half reach for a leg, but nothing serious. Marco goes back to the underhook on the right side of Conrad, which usually means he's looking for a foot sweep. Conrad wants to come in maybe for a bear hug, and way off the mat, he actually drives Marco down. Of course, Marco it looked like he kind of relaxed after the whistle blew, but the Minnesota crowd will love that. Nice aggressive move by Cole Conrad. Didn't really come close to having it, but it stirred the folks up a little. That's good. They'll make call by Mike Allen, and really, I'm not sure why he called that. They do that sometimes. They weren't tied up and locked up where they couldn't go anywhere. They were just hand fighting. Sometimes an official seems to think, well, I'll call a stalemate, and they'll just uh, stir him up a little bit. I personally don't think it really does anything unless they're just hanging on the head and tied up and not moving. Then, of course, you can break that tie up and start them over. Conrad again, really aggressive on the, on the head tapping. Boy, he gets after it. They go to the collar tie after the head slap. Congratulations to Levin. Sandstale make called again. That time, though, they were tied up. Minnesota State Mankato, Central Michigan. Of course, either man could have pulled out of it. They weren't locked up by any means. They just chose to stay tied up. Conrad, a little half reach for a leg. Yes. But again, I think it's more for show than anything. Under 10 seconds to go in the first. Neither man has had a real serious move. And time runs out in the first. No score. Scoreless first period. Marco's choice, he takes bottom. Let's see if Cole Conrad tries to aggressively ride. He's a Once really again, a good rider. Please stay with us to honor our champions and our runners up at the end of this match. We want all- For so those of you on Takedown Radio, hang on. We'll try to get a comment from the winning coach just right after this. Marco to his feet. Conrad trying to put him back down and does. Good job with the tight waist. Four point stance again by Marco. Turns into him. Can't get it done though. Good job by Conrad. And Marco stands up again. This time he's almost into him. Conrad wants to run him out and does run him out. Whoa, right into the Oklahoma State bench. And 
and John Smith telling the official now he's got to bring him back down to the mat instead of just running him out. Of course, every coach, when they come over near their bench area, they're going to get their little shots in, maybe get the official thinking their way they hope. Marco off the whistle again, four-point stance. Here we go, probably St. No. Brings him back down. Now Mako's up again, and he's out of there. So escape by Mako, and good job as uh, Conrad was trying to get some riding time there. He did get 32 seconds. But probably thought he might be in danger of getting a stalling warning on top because he wasn't really doing anything but just letting him stand up and not really bringing him back down to the mat all the time. So who can score maybe here in the second period? Cole Conrad trying to keep that number one ranking. Get a second straight victory over Mako, even though the first one obviously was just an exhibition match, not counting on the record. Mako, oh, Mako a double leg shot, but couldn't get there. And a headlock applied by Conrad out of that. Mako has to bail out of that. So there's a good move by both men. Mako a double leg, lost it. Conrad a headlock. And Mako spun out of that. So 37 seconds to go in the second. And the fans like that. A good exchange there. A good attack by Mako, a good counter by Conrad. Not much to choose from here. Nobody can get really the move they want. Would we'll see if Mako goes back to the underhook. I can try to work, and he does, trying to work the. No, he doesn't get the underhook, I beg your pardon. Went up behind the head with a collar tie. Conrad has been kind of shrugging that upper body like he wants to try a little, little shrug move for a takedown, but he hasn't really gotten that aggressive with it. 1-0 Mako as the period ends. 32 seconds riding time, the advantage for Conrad. So Mako would have to ride for 132 here to do any good from that standpoint. Conrad quickly to his stance. Mako not that interested, just lets him go. So 1-1 one, one, and they'll go on their feet for the final 153. As Mako decided not to try to ride. They lock up tight here. Let's see if somebody wants to throw. Conrad reaches over with it. He wants to trip. Mako. Trying. Oh, and he throws Mako to his back. And he's pinned. He's pinned. Cole Conrad wins the big enchilada for Minnesota in five minutes, 26 seconds. He breaks Mako's 85 match winning streak. He breaks Oklahoma State's 30 match winning streak and their three year hold on this event. Mako shakes hands with Conrad, walks off stunned as they locked up and they both tried to throw and Conrad with that leverage, that great leverage, put Mako to his back and had the fall in 526. So the final